Hey, what's going up, guys? We're just going to go over some basic features and the basic uh, icons you see around the interface of RE3. So this is just a very basic overview. We'll go into more details on all of these things in later videos. So starting in the top left-hand corner, you'll see your basic uh, drop-down menus uh, with File, Edit, Modify, View, and the Machine menu. Now, these will all go into great detail, but most of these we address in other places down here. Now, Edit has very basic things like Copy, Paste, Cut, and Select, uh, and File has things like starting a new project, loading from an old project. You can import files from here, as well as export projects uh, from that menu. Now, right below uh, File and Menu, you'll notice the uh, Settings cog right next to undo and redo now the settings cog will open up the most useful menu uh, from the settings menu that's just kind of a, a quick button there to get to uh, this sub menu which can you know adjust things on the device um, different engraved general settings this is where you can set your global settings that your laser will always be set at when you start up the machine now moving right across we have the very familiar laser control softwares including camera capture vectorize Estimate, uh, estimated time of the job as well as running of the perimeter and of the job. Um, those are very common and just like uh, they were in RE2 if you were familiar with that software. Uh, moving right along, you have the, uh, basically these are your workspace controls that uh, will control the zoom and I can, uh, you know, click here to zoom in. Uh, you can click this button here just to fill the space. You can obviously grab the hand and toggle around. Um, and then this is actually a very useful menu. Uh, this will control what you're snapping to. So right now uh, it's snapping to basically everything. If you'd like to have a little more free fill, uh, flow with uh, movement and uh, placement of your object, just unselect some of those uh, snap options there and you should be able to place your object a little bit easier. Uh, moving right along, the blue objects here, uh, these are basically your object controls. You have a few different pointers and uh, selection tools, a few different tools for um, creating and uh, modifying vector lines. You have some pre um, preset vector shapes here from line, rectangle, ellipse, and so on. And then a object uh, item here for adding text. Um, again, this is uh, very simple to use and we'll go into all of these controls on a separate video. Uh, you can look um, just a little bit further down on the list for that. Uh, moving right along, you have the object control. Now these are very, very simple as if you have an object controlled, you can flip them horizontally or vertically. This is great for engraving on glass and back engraving that obviously uh, rotation uh, for rotating your object. Uh, moving right along, you have the vector control objects here, which is very, very useful. If you've ever used Inkscape or Illustrator, uh, you'll recognize a lot of these controls here. As you have a vector object selected, you'll see you can union, uh, difference, intersect, and subtract. Uh, again, a video on that will be uh, available here just a little bit. And then um, right next to that, you have the bring forward and send backward for arranging the uh, uh, areas that you're uh, uh, objects layered in your project. Uh, and then one useful tool if you are still used to using RE2 but wanted to switch back to using that instead of RE3, you can click on that icon right up there in the top right hand corner. Again, this was just a basic overview of RE3 and the controls up top. Um, real quickly on the bottom of the software as well, as you come down here, you'll see some indications of your machine as well, including lid sensor, the water sensor, um, air assist, and the um, exhaust fan. So those are things you can check on with your system as well, including the system status in the uh, bottom center of your screen. I hope this helped uh, understand the layout and understandings of RE3. Again, look for more videos on the detailed descriptions of what each of these uh, objects and options do uh, in later videos. Thanks again for tuning in.